do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I wanted to revisit MX4 SIO because I got a few questions the last couple months as more gamers get involved with the MX4 SIO project, getting their own or making their own and whatnot. And one common question or theme I've been seeing is how do I add my games properly to my micro SD so that I recognize an OPL uh, correctly? And this is what I like to do, and I'll show you what I'm using today. But the first thing you want to do, of course, is make sure that it's format is FAT32. So I like to use this program called FAT32 Format. I have a link in the video description. So I'm using a 128 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card actually. So this program is nice. It allows me to format as FAT32 because that's what the PS2 needs in order to play the games using the OPL. And then the second program I like to use is OPL Manager. So I have a link in the video description. Download the latest version. At the time of this video recording, it's version 22.1. I like this program because it, it renames my game files correctly. It also gets the cover art, the game art, and it shows an OPL real nice. So that's why I like to use this program. You don't have to use it, but I think it makes the process a whole lot easier, especially for um, those that are new to the PS2 uh, modding community and just want to play games as soon as possible and spend less hassle, you know, like troubleshooting. Okay, so go ahead, download the zip file. I have it. I want to extract to my desktop here. And then I already have my micro SD uh, plug in with a USB adapter on my computer here. So what I'm going to do is first run the program. When you first run it for the first time, it's going to ask you for your language. I'm going to say English, save. Do you want to check for updates on startup? Save. And then under browse, you want to navigate to where your games are or where your uh, USB device is. So here is my USB device. So I'm going to say, okay, save. And I just happen to have a game that's not named properly just for this tutorial purposes. So if you have any games that are named that are not named properly, it's going to say, hey, you have, you know, some bad ISO. So press OK. And then what you can do is click on the game in question. And then you can click on get title from DB or database. And it gets the title. But then it says, hey, your, your file name might be too long, you know, larger than 32 characters. So what you can do is here, I'm going to modify this game. I'm just going to take off the end here, say update file name. It says, do you want to change it from this to this? I'm going to say yes. OK. And it does that. Cool. And then if you wish, you can go to batch actions, art download, you know, download all the cover art, click on start, and then it was going to download any new art. Um, but here I didn't say replace it exists, so you can do that too. But I do have some art in my art folder. So if I go to my drive here, the art, you know, here's some examples of some of the art that, um, you know, depending on the OPL theme, it might show all these different graphics. Okay, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's the portion, getting your games ready on the micro SD. That was pretty painless, right? So just for fun, um, in the next video segment here, I'm gonna showcase my adapter with this one game name properly with the cover art and just show it working basically. So with that said, let's go straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so in this part of the video tutorial, we're gonna showcase my MX4 SIO with a game added renamed properly, working perfectly in OPL. So let's go ahead and let's load up, let's say OPL 110, the stable version. If you want to use 1629, which is another build that allows safe game support, by all means, go ahead and try it out. So I already have my settings pre-set up to use um, MX4 SIO. So I go to manual here, block devices. This is actually on for MX4 SIO. So I already have those changes or settings already saved. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert my adapter into slot two. So here's my custom adapter that I made. If you want one, if you're interested, let me know. But anyways, let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, cool. Everything's good because we saw the BDM instantly changed into the SD icon right here. Let's go ahead and start my game. And then um, we'll show just real quick, you know, gameplay footage. Like I said, with the OPL manager, if you wish, you can download the cover art. And then you you notice that one cover art uh, that I had for the game, the box art there. I'm sure that there are different uh, versions of the OPL theme. So like if you want to change your whole background, for example, uh, I'm sure there's probably something that out, that's out there that exists if you want to get into that kind of uh, customization.
So let's select some heroes real quick, or characters. If you're interested, if your favorite game works with mx 4 sio uh, there is a spreadsheet compatibility list, so I'll put that in the video description as well, just in case if you're not familiar with it. So yeah, the bottom line is if you want the easiest time to make your games work on microSD with OPL, I highly recommend using OPL Manager. It makes things real simple for renaming your game files, make sure it works with OPL, and also getting the cover art, art files, that's something you're interested in as well. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nifty questions, leave a comment here on our YouTube page. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.